Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we're going to be learning how to draw a squirrel. So here's a picture of the finished piece. What you're going to need is some plain white paper or a sketchbook, a pencil, an eraser, a black pen. And remember, if you enjoy drawing animals, please check out my free PDF, the link's up at the top, of how to draw a horse galloping. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to start off with a circle, very lightly in pencil, just over here. You can draw around something, or you can just draw it freehand. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just something a little bit like this. Just like that. Now we're going to be drawing an egg shape next to the circle. So this is going to be for the squirrel's head. So just very lightly first. I hope you can still see this. Remember you can pause the video at any moment. So an egg shape just like that. Now we're going to draw a line joining up the two shapes and this is going to be a dip in the neck. line like this. We're going to draw the ear. So just a line like that. And the other ear. One like so. Next we're going to draw the leg. So starting right at the top here. Just draw the leg starting there, coming down, coming round and then a little foot here. I have to be in great detail. We'll come back and add the detail later. Bring it up to here. Now, where it hits the circle, we're going to start the tail. So, bring it all the way around. All the way around, like so. And it's going to have a lovely bushy tail. This is a red squirrel, so when you come to, to colour it in, if you want to colour it in, remember to do a lovely kind of auburn, Kind of different shades of red and brown. So bring it around and then this shape will join back with the circle down here. Okay we're going to draw something that the squirrel is standing on so how about drawing the side of a log. This is the log poking up and the bit where it's been cut off. So if you can imagine this is just like a bit like a trunk, a tree trunk there. Now for the arm, so starting round about there, just bring it round and bring it all the way around like this. Bring it down, It'll join up with the leg here. And last but not least, do the eye just put where you think the eye is going to go. There we go. Now I'm going to move straight to pen, but please carry on using a pencil until we feel confident enough to go straight to pen. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the eye. And squirrels have really nice big eyes. So just like that. And leave a little kind of light shining there. And you can colour in the rest of it. like so. Just like that. Now we're going to perfect the face a little bit so we're going to draw the nose. It sticks out a little bit more than how I'd drawn it before. Come up, come down and then we're going to do the front of the head all the way around. I'm going to draw a little line there and bring it round, all the way round. Now we're going to do the ear. So we'll start off with the ear that's furthest away. So, just like that. Now we're going to do the ear that's closest to us. Bring it round. Like that and then the inner part and some little furry lines, got little furry ears, put a little, 
couple of tufts of fur on the top of the ears, just like that. Okay, so next we're going to draw the back. So you can do some little furry lines just going across like this, and then the back. Now, the next thing we need to do is the big bushy tail because that's the most prominent feature. So, starting here, we're just gonna draw lots of lines, just like that, all the way up. Lots and lots of these lines. All the way till we get to the underside. Now they're gonna slightly change direction and they're gonna get longer. Can you see that? Just like that. And then they're gonna go in this direction, all along the top, and do some more longer lines. They can kind of change direction all the way along. Just like so, carry it on. Don't give up, just keep on going. <laughs> all the way along. Now these ones are more flat, so if you can see that, they just go flat against the body. And then we're going to draw some lines coming down here, just like that. Okay, we're going to go back and we're going to add a few more in a second, but I just want to get the outline right. Next, the leg. So, bring it round. Also do a few tufts for the tummy. There we go. Put it around like that. And draw a couple of toes. So one toe like this. And then we've got another toe like that. Coming around. Little foot. There we go. We do some more tufts of fur. There we go. Now gonna have to draw little nails and then the other foot in the background just poking out so there's one over there excellent so now we're going to draw this tree make it look a little bit more realistic what I've done before so there we go and you can draw bits in the bark like that and then some bits coming down like here for the bark make it look more tree like okay back to the main attraction now we're going to do the little arms so coming around come around to about here okay now we're going to draw the tiny little um, do you call them paws? I guess they've got paws. So, all the little digits. And then the last one. And then bring it round, just like this. Bring it round here, and back this way. And then we're going to draw the other one on the other side. First draw the neck. There's a neck. And then on the other side, little thumb here. And then the other digits just poking out, just like so. Okay, so now I'm going to rub out all the pencil lines so we can focus. So we've rubbed out all the pencil lines. I'm just going to add some more fur to the tail. So the underside of the tail is gonna be a lot darker. So using those long lines that I was talking about earlier, just go all the way along the underside of the tail until you reach this part and you join up and you just carry on. Another side that's really dark is underneath this part because it doesn't catch the light. The light's coming from this direction. So all the parts that are in shadow need to be much darker. So bring it round. Now 
You can carry on going like this just to add more texture. Just keep on going with lots of these wispy lines, but remember to follow the direction of the tail. Don't do them all in the same direction. They need to follow the direction, which is like this, almost this S shape. So just continuing, going all the way along, just like this, all the way along to the end. Just like so. Also, I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker on the underside of the squirrel. Again, doing these kind of, these pen strokes in the direction of the fur. And the same here, because this is all in shadow too. Particularly underneath the foot, I'll color that in there. Okay, now here, this is gonna be dark because it doesn't catch the light, it's underneath the chin and the underneath of the arms. There we go. And then lastly, just underneath the face. A few more bits. Just like that. And then now we're gonna draw a few whiskers. So, and a few on the other side. And then our squirrel is finished. Well done. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.